But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our newest Let's Play of Star Trek Armada 3. This is what you all voted for. Thank you so much for everybody who cast votes at the end of the last Borg series. We're going with the Dominion. I know it says Cardassian there, but we will be the Dominion. Trust me. <laughs> and I thought I'd go for quite a hard... Uh, one this time, so we've gone for the get some difficulty, which is one above hard, which is of course boldly go. For uh, several different races, we've got a couple of Federation in there, a couple of Romulan, and a couple of Klingon. For this game, I don't want any of my AI to be stomped on in early game by random events, so we have turned them off. No random events, no outlaw sectors, no pirates either. This is going to be a very very interesting match for me, and one that I could potentially lose. We've also gone for fast income rates, build speed, ship speeds, and research. Culture, I don't care about so much, uh, and normal victory speed. In fact, we might go slow culture speed. <laughs> victory options, I'm allowing for allied victory, so if I do manage to ally with somebody, I may be able to use that to my advantage. There is no guarantee, though. People tend not to like the Dominion very much. Can't imagine why, we're delightful. We've endured for a thousand years, and we'll endure for a thousand years after you are gone. Or maybe not. Let's see what happens. Let's start the match. I'm a little bit terrified. Just a little bit though. Excuse me, I apologise. I tickled in my throat for a while. Probably should have coughed before I started recording, really, shouldn't I? Wouldn't that have been nice? Okay, we have started the match. Let's do what we must. Right, first things first, we are going to need... Uh, a social research lab or two. This is a huge planet. Why is it so big? What's happening here? Let's immediately get a Janissary class. I wouldn't usually do that. But with these guys, it is possibly a good idea. Maybe the music's a little too loud. I think I might turn that down just a smidge. Ah, there we are. I can hear myself think now. Tends to help, doesn't it? Right, another thing that I'm going to do immediately in this campaign is I'm going to try and social spec my homeworld because I'm going to need it. Those of you who can go out, please do. I might actually need to pause here because I'm not seeing my uh, not seeing my ship identifiers here. Why am I not seeing my ship identifiers? <laughs> I don't want the tactical grid. Uh, yes, I want info cards. What's this has all been reset? Why is it all been reset? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I would like those. And do I need mesh ownership? Yeah, I suppose I'll go for an ownership icon. That's fair enough. There we go. I think that'll do us. Ah, oh, good. Now I can see where all my things live. That's extremely useful. Miral class constructor, I need you right here. Gonna get a nice Nor class station there. Let's take a think about that social spec. Yep, let's go one level straight away. I'm really hoping that this is an isolated piece of the galaxy so we can actually defend somewhere. Our scouts have discovered a new world. Turn our dialogue up a little, and perhaps the effect volume, maybe even the UI volume. 
That seems about right. Construction work is complete. Oh god, it's my voice. Plenty of Maki over here. Let's see what was over here. Uh, more Maki. There you go, we've got our Janissary. The first thing we are going to get on there is... What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> we will grab the capacity. Standing by. Oh, Second Captain course. Shack. The of the wonderful voice. <clears throat> there we go, and this should automatically Aline join the fleet. Should. Whether it will or not, is the question. Let's keep social specking. Want that moolah. Back here, we've got a class CGO inactive with green defenders. Alright, so we... Mm, that's a potential choke point. Uh, I want my scouts to go down this way so I can see what's going on over here. But that gives us something to work with, which is a very, very useful. Let's get a couple more Razalax. And we will send our ships to Zosimus. Moving. Move us to war. Our fleet has arrived. All stations ready. Transfer all power to weapons. Very good. What do we need for the next level of social spec? Okay. Awaiting further orders. Minus one armor. <laughs> That can't be good. I might follow these little flights of peregrines around for a moment or two. There's something really nice about following fighters around in game. I'm not sure why. I quite enjoy doing it. Not something I could have done as the board. Zoom it out. All stations ready. It is uh, good to concentrate. Awaiting further orders. Let's get some more Razlax in there. Not quite there with a social spec yet. All stations ready. Though admittedly, uh, I don't think building more Razlax takes any. Yep, it doesn't take any dilithium, so we're actually going to go ham with those. Standing by. Right, next target, folks. Could you go for this? All stations ready. Very good. That one's gone. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, let's see if we've got any research that might be a good idea for us to do. More dilithium, please. Awaiting your command. Now really, if we were min-maxing, we should probably have two fleets, and we should be going for two of these planets at once, because we are against very hard enemies, and they're going to expand like the clappers. Control power to weapons. All stations ready. I'm going to be really under the cosh this series. Awaiting further it's not going to be good. And this is one of those series that I could very well All lose. Stations ready. Our uh, ships have given up movement. <laughs> we will know the glorious might of Cardassia. Ah, the glorious might of Cardassia, of course. Let's take a look. Nearly at 175, which is needed, and nearly at 200, which is needed for the next level of social spec. Good. Standing by. Early game goals, folks. Early game goals. Increasing engine output. Right, all that's left now is that Jaeger. One of the most hideous ships. <laughs> a lot of people have a strange enjoyment of the Jaeger. I'm not sure I agree with them. Standing by. Helmsman. Let's take this world.
Right, looks like we're at the point where we can social spec one more time. You can see what it's doing. Uh, it increases our culture, which is nice uh, by itself, and it increases our population growth rate and the maximum potential population, which by proxy increases our tax rate fairly significantly. And that's really what we want. We've already been found by the House of Duras. Our troops have occupied a new world. And our troops have occupied a new world. What will you have me do? What will I have you do? Work the miners to death if you must. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Work the miners to death. Uh, let's get over Adjusting to Patroclus. Course. Not sure if I want to go through there yet. No, go back Setting to our home course. world, and then you can go to Patroclus that way. Give you as much time as we can. Let's just take a look at our cash. Okay, income is somewhere around the 13 mark already. I like that. I like it a lot. Now, people in the uh, in the last series said they even wanted early game, uh, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to try and make it as quick and painless as possible, because I know early game isn't necessarily the most exciting thing in the world. All stations ready. All right, fleet. Changing heading. Move forward. Give me that 150 tritanium, bro. Construction work is complete. Ah, construction work is complete. Move us to war. How delightful. There we go, let's grab that. We're not going to be having a tax strain anymore. Right, Jaeger's closest, may as well go for it straight away. What would it take to get to the next level? 225 of each. I'm a little bit terrified that the House of Duras has already found us. Do we have both of our scouts still alive? We don't. Let's build some more. Uh, we absolutely need information this time. More uh, is required. Take three scouts there. All stations ready. How's that Jaeger holding up against us? Hmm. It'll do well for my tastes. That was one of our ships. There she goes. Okay, we've got the easiest ships to deal with now. Here come the scouts. Good. We're definitely going to need these guys. Such a beautiful world. The class X plasma planet. Adore them. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. And what have we got here? Uh, class M ancient. Demon world. Well, we can take some of them. Not others. Yes. Why don't you guys get exploring? Standing by. Why aren't you all attacking that? Kill it. That is. <laughs> Damn it, I don't want to min max. Oh, nearly. Yep, there you go. More social spec. Standing by. There goes another one. You're next. Going to need more ships very soon. Very soon. Excellent. Now you. Look at that. 380 population right now. When this one hits, it's going to be 560 population, which is massive. Trade income goes down fairly significantly. Uh, ship build rate. Yep, that's reduced as well. But look at that. Population growth rate, max population, and the culture spread modifier. So we're going to be safe from culture Ah, good. And there are the Klingons. But they appear to have a little bit of a problem with load of Zalconian warships. Good. Good. The more they're bottled, the better it is for me. I absolutely need them to be bottled. Uh, oh, no, no, no more scouts. For the moment. Let's get more Razlax. Awaiting further orders. Oh, there we go. Oh god, that was a uh, little turn of speed there, wasn't it? Woo! Colonize! <laughs> there we go. There go our little ships. Tiny Hideki's of Doom. All stations ready. 
Very good. We've taken this. Uh, let's get our fleet back home. Uh, always more latinum. Always with the latinum. Move us to war. Interesting. I don't know why they just left these Zalconian warships here. Doesn't seem to make a great deal of sense, does it? They're actually fairly strong combatants as well. 4,000 health, 4,000 shields. Maybe that's why. Maybe their fleet just got destroyed. Unrealistic expectations of success. That is quite a nice choke point, and taking it off them early would be uh, beneficial. Uh, let's make sure that we are part of a fleet. Very good. You, that tax drain needs to stop. Thank you. Next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a commercial forum. Uh, reform, excuse me, commercial reform. And we'll plot those down in both uh, Zosimus and Patroclus. Uh, keep that credit income as well as we can. There is the Klingon homeworld. Let's see what they've got so far. Uh, they've got the Ravenous, as you would expect them to. Some Valcon, which is an anti-fighter ship. Uh, more Valcon. Raptors. Uh, Brels. More Raptors. Okay, so they're still early game. recognizes your prowess. Thank you, Klingon Empire, for recognizing my prowess. What is it that you want? You want me to destroy several House of Duras ships, which is hardly surprising. Tend not to be great fans of them. Right, there we go. Let's take our commercial reform, and we'll take another one in longer mining hours. Work the miners to death if we must. Okay, it looks like we've built all the ships that we can here. Uh, let's try and think about taking out some of these Breen. We do need class 1, subjugation. So hopefully we'll have that by the time we finish off the Breen. How many ships do we actually have? Uh, I think that should do the job. Should. Have we found any other races yet? No! Oh my, no. Okay, there's class one. Good. Uh, we've got that in the queue to be researched next. We'll then take daily mining quotas for our titanium mining. And as soon as we have this world, this is going to become a military our research outpost. At least that's our intent. Move us to war. Mm, Task Force 2 is contacting us. They also want us to kill some House of Duras. Awaiting further orders. Interesting. It appears the entire galaxy is against the House of Duras. Is, it, is, is that good? Is it bad? Or is it simply ugly? There you go. We've taken both levels of early mining. We've got nothing that we can do over here. But we, I suppose we could... Let's take this, the diplomatic envoy, and we'll also take lukewarm sentiments afterwards as well. We need to engage in diplomacy if we're going to win this time. Standing by. Soon we'll be using you, my Breen friends. Our scouts have discovered a new world. Don't take this as any negative sentiments, but I need this world. <laughs> For you, to live on, of course. Okay, is there anything else that I might need down here? Uh, we, we should probably take the Cardassian way just in case. What does this require? Also class 1 subjugation. So nothing else required in the short term. A commando I really want. Oh my. Predator classes already? Yes. They're already building a fleet that could potentially do me real harm. Our side is Acquire target and fire. Very good. Okay. Right, as soon as you can get the commerce station down, we will flop it down. 
that the right word? It's probably not. Plop it down. Oh, no, that didn't help much either. <laughs> Commerce Our station down. Our scientists. Standing by. So proud of your scientists. As you should be. Acquire target and fire. My ships have forgotten what they were supposed to do. Oh, so many new technologies being developed. Our Is it not magnificent? Right, we're going to take the first two levels of peaceful negotiations as well. Hit this early and hit, the, hit this running. Yep, everyone attack that. Construction work is complete. Oh god. There we go. Alright, so people are going to be a little bit uh, naturally more friendly to us now. Doesn't mean they're going to be entirely friendly to us. I expect that they probably won't be. Let's see how our relation stands with the House of Duras. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Our have so maybe, just maybe, our we could build an envoy or two. We'll build one envoy, we'll send it to their homeworld, and we'll see what kind of practical effect that, that has. Oh good, that's a green ship, that's not one of ours. <laughs> Ooh, you've leveled. How nice. Uh, let's take the assault teams. Yep, the assault teams have just boarded over. I don't think we're going to kill this in time. Awaiting further orders. Nope. Sadly not. Right. Back to the trash cars. New technology, very good. Uh, we'll also take donators of Cardassia while we're here. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's take logistical development on both Patroclus and Zosimus. That's going to allow us to get some labs. Who doesn't want labs? Waiting further orders. All stations ready. Acquire target and fire. Hostiles. We've nearly got to the position where we can take this planet, which is just wonderful. Okay, we go in, we need military development desperately. So let's pop that there. We are lagging behind the other races, which is unsurprising considering they cheat. <laughs> One problem, for some reason, with these Razalites is they do seem to stop doing what they were doing. Attack that target. So if you leave them to their own devices, they, uh, they just piss about. We are yours to command. That sounds like our Kordak class envoy has been completed. We are yours to command. All right. Let's get you over to Moving. our Klingon potential friends. I might make a second Kordak envoy. Let's do it. Okay, uh, we're also going to build uh, all research defense stations immediately. Alright. We've taken Tamlad. Changing Let's get over here. Increasing engine output. Alright, let's see what we can do with Tamlad. Uh, we're going to need that dilithium. In fact, it's fairly rich from a dilithium perspective. Construction work is complete. Let's grab all that we can. Try and build some infrastructure up so we're not losing tax. Uh, let's see how we're going on that. Pretty nice overall. Move us to war. Yeah, pretty nice. 20.7 planet income. See what kind of income this is making by itself. Yep, 
22. Uh, so that's pretty much where all of our income is coming from. Uh, it's geoinactive. It's not going to be. All it's not going to benefit uh, from the same thing because the it's got a low base population. You only want to do social spec on planets with relatively high base populations. Romulans would like a trade alliance. As would Task Force 12. That, ladies and gentlemen, is fascinating. The more people I can be friends with now, the better. The Klingons are the least likely to befriend us, interestingly. I don't think... Have we found you guys? Uh, well, let's offer a trade alliance anyway. Is that a yes? It was. Very good. All right, we've got a couple of trade alliances now. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's take another military research lab over here. Uh, we do need a Union Commerce Station here, though. Let's grab it. Boom, boom. And one more Union Commerce Station over here. The Senate commends you for your brilliant command. Thank you, thank you. Right, so we've got one, two, we've got three trade alliances already. House of Duras, we're going to go over there and we're going to start trying to make friends with them. Very poor um, feelings towards each other right now. There's still a Zalconian warship over here. Ah, it looks like the uh, Klingon fleet are dealing with them though. Here we are, let's grab our trade station. And then everything else is going to be geared towards research. We're going to logistical logistically develop insofar as we're able. I don't think we've got enough research labs uh, to take our Dominion Alliance yet. Hopefully we'll be able to do that in this episode. We've been going for about 26 minutes, so um, I don't see that as an impediment. Let's take the next research lab that we can have. And now that means we can grab this. And in fact, let's, there we go. Take the Dominion Alliance. Mag Magnificent. That's just fantastic stuff. So in this particular menu, the first thing that we're going to want as our soon as we have Dominion, our scientists, uh, if we are going to want the Scarab attack ship. You can see that we will be able to research it once we've got the Dominion Alliance, so let's grab that. And I think I'd also like to get Tresh Gars as well. Um, they're going to be a nice potent mix. Our scouts have discovered a new world. Oh, we've got Our another envoy, of course. Uh, so let's send that to Moving. Akamaru. Don't know what kind of practical... Stop trying to destroy my envoy. All stations ready. Absolute sausages. We're here to help. Construction work is complete. Sometimes diary, I don't know. The Senate commends you for your brilliant command. All stations ready. What have we got over here? You Oh no. Nope. Moving. Sorry, keep the trade alliance. Keep the trade alliance. Not really have that with any but anyone else. For some reason, these guys are actually losing relationship with us. Why? Diplomatic actions. They don't like what I'm doing diplomatically with other races. Which is understandable and justifiable. We may have to fight them. The early fight might be on. Let's take more logistical development so we can get more labs. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's take as many scarabs as we're allowed. Uh, while we're at it, I think we're going to go to the military academy and go with increased recruitment. I'd also like to research the Treshgar. What does that require? We've got a bit of an overabundance of dilithium at the moment, so we could sell a little bit of that. Construction work is complete. Construction work is indeed complete. Uh, let's take the trash car as well. We'll have more labs soon enough. Soon enough. 
There's the trash car. She doesn't cost very much in the great scheme of things. There we go. Let's go that way. Take at least three. I want five. To start with. Hello, my Federation friends. What would you like? You'd like us to give you some dilithium. 200 specifically. Uh... Well, we do make a lot of dilithium, so let's, uh, let's Objective completed. acquiesce to your request. Victory. Yes, congratulations on my victory of giving you Our stuff. Now, I'm hoping our uh, Razalak's going to be killed our off fairly quickly. Is glory to the ah, that sounds like it's our first bug ship. We exist to serve the Dominion. Magnificent, we can hear them just being pumped out now. But let's um take another five of them. Our death is glory to the Falcons. We take a few more trash cars? I, th I think we probably should. Yeah, take another three. Yeah. We are prepared. Oh, good. Here we go. We're finally getting a fleet, and we will uh, we'll go and take Orchid in just a minute or two. Uh, class five. We are prepared. Oh, we could take Mahita as well. We are yours to command. Now the fleet's getting worthwhile. What will you have me do? What will I have you do? Uh, colonize better, please. Just keep pumping out as many Scarab classes as we possibly can. We're actually going to totally max out uh, on what we can do on level 1 here. Uh, anything else? Sends its best. What do you want? A trade alliance? Get new color. More latinum is required. More latinum? There you go, there's more latinum. And there you go, we've maxed out now. Awaiting your command. But I'm actually going to send our fleet onwards uh, to Orchid because we can't slow down with our colonization process. Over here, we need to wait a couple of minutes so we can get a military research level two. Uh, because the next thing I want to get is I want to be able to get both the Manticore and the Mantis Battle Cruiser. Hello, boys. Awaiting further orders. <laughs> much better, much better. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, crap. Our death. Retreat the fleet. The enemy have already come for us. I knew it. I knew we would be attacked early. Monstrous. Right, I need this planetary rally point to be over here. <coughs> and oh my, we've been going to just over 30 minutes. <laughs> Can we, ladies and gentlemen, beat back this assault on our worlds by the Klingons? In fact, can we do even more than that? Look at that, Aurea 840 health, lost half of our planetary population, but our fleet is coming to help them. I don't think this time I'm going to show you what the galaxy at large looks like because it's very early game. I'll do so in the next episode. 
But, ladies and gentlemen, one thing that I am going to be doing during the course of this series is any command ships that I get, I'm going to be giving the community the opportunity to name them. Right now, it's called the CDS Tempest. We don't know who the commander is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little uh, piece in our community discord that asks you to name the tempest and after every episode i'm going to ask you to name any additional capital ships that we have and uh, i'm basically going to choose my favorite um so if you have uh, a really fantastic backstory and a great name for the ship uh, then that is the one i'm going to use uh, it will change episode by episode we've only got one capital ship this episode but we may have three or four in the next one we will see in addition to that, if it if it proves to be fairly popular, I'll ask people to start naming my uh, my planets as well. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. Make sure you do take a look at the links in the description below. My community Discord is linked there, so if you want to name the ship and have uh, this ship be uh, your little contribution to the fleet throughout the uh, well, hopefully <laughs> throughout this campaign, but maybe not. We'll we'll see, <laughs> depending on whether I get it killed or not then uh, that's something that you'll have the opportunity to do in the Discord. It's a, it is a great place. It's focused primarily on my YouTube. Um, but we've got a lot of amazing people in there. Uh, there are various community cre creations that are going on. Uh, and we have some excellent rooms for sci-fi, chatter, and strategy games, RPG games, and survival games. Uh, they're the primary focuses of the Discord. Um, we have a great community in there, and I would love for you to be part of it. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the girl out. Yeah.